I can see the bent back legs. The arms are so long. Dogman, the canine cryptid we've all come to know and fear. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brookster Watches. Today, we're going to be taking a look at five of the scariest sightings and stories of Dogman. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I do upload these videos very often. So make sure to check out all the links in the description box below. It's got all of my merch. It's got all of my sources that I cite here on YouTube. Also, Midnight Lycanthropy every Thursday at 12 a.m. midnight. It's a podcast that Kenny and I have now. And if you don't know Kenny, go ahead and visit his channel. He's got lots and lots of information on Dogman. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a walk into the forest. Okay, guys. I know what you're thinking. This first one says Bigfoot sighting. I know, I know. But listen, in this, I see a dog man. And I actually see two figures, two dog men. And I don't know, dog men run in packs. So I'm like, okay, well, this kind of makes sense. But I'm going to let you be the judge of this, okay? And I'm not trying to debunk anything. Like, if, if, People are saying it's a Sasquatch, it's a Sasquatch, but to me, I see snouts and stuff. So, let's go ahead and give this a watch. By the way, it's by Bigfoot's testimony, so you know what to do. Go put your pretty little paws up on his like button, as well as mine. And it says, an oil-filled worker captured something watching him. The world completely changes over the course of an hour, um, because this is something that's going to unfold. You know, it's been unfolding for months, it's going to continue to unfold for months. Watch. Okay, obviously we see this huge black hulking figure over here, and I'm going to circle it for you, okay? But in the midst of all these trees right here, I kind of see a canine-like face. Like a German Shepherd canine-like face. It looks like it's beginning to cloak, too. This one definitely looks like it's in the in the stages of being in like final cloaking, but I don't know. It could just be an AKA blob squatch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This next one is called 52 scary stories of dog man and werewolf encounters. And it's by what lurks above. In September of 1995, I was working on the farm that my husband and I own. It is a full-scale farming operation with livestock that consists of beef, pigs, chickens for eggs, and it also has soybeans, corn, alfalfa hay, green beans, and peas in season. On September 13th, 1995, at approximately 6.30 a.m. while doing the morning chores, I went out to feed our chickens which were in the coops in the yard. There are two dogs who are generally with me when doing this chore, and they too were out there, wagging their tails as usual, indicating all is well. This particular day, though, there must have been something spooking them, because both dogs refused to come out of one coop where they always go into. I was wondering what would cause this to happen. They are well trained and not easily spooked. I decided that I would just go ahead and take care of the chickens myself. I never had a problem feeding them previous to this, so I simply went back in the house for about 20 minutes and came back out to feed them again. Since I needed more feed than before, I walked across the yard rather than driving my tractor to replenish their food supply. As I crossed over behind where the pigs were, something caught my attention, and as soon as it did, both dogs began barking like crazy, now that they too saw whatever it was. They were barking up behind the wooded hillside behind our barn. The barking was frantic, like, hey, come here, 
Hey, come look at this. I looked up the hillside and saw what I best can describe as a large upright canine with its back towards me. It was covered in pitch blackish fur, like coal. It had long hair hanging down its arms inside of its body. It did not touch the ground, though. Its ears were very pointed and cropped. They kind of moved like they were trying to pinpoint where my dogs were barking from, or get an idea of where I was, too. Then this thing whirled around quickly, without turning its head, and offered me a full frontal view of itself before it took off running into the woods behind our house. And all I could think to say was, Oh my gosh. This was not a bear or a wolf that I have ever seen before in my life. Now, about four weeks goes by, and my husband and I were walking in the same area where this creature had come down from the hillside right behind our house. There are no bears in southern Wisconsin, except for one that has been reported on occasion. But there are wolves and coyotes, so you would think it must have been one of them, if anything at all. We were walking up to the top of the hill when something again right. caught my attention, and my husband's attention. He actually pointed out where he saw it go through some trees into an old strip mine. He said it reminded him of a black fox with very pointed ears, which is what I would have assumed too. But then, since both dogs reacted to it like they did, I had to rethink that decision and decided it must have been something else. It was at least six feet tall, with very long legs, very muscular. Again, it was no bear or deer. Its rear end was high up in the air when running, but the back leg on each side were bent forward more than on either a dog or coyote, which is what made its movement slightly different. Since this has happened, I've talked to several people who have said they have saw some kind of large black canine creature around that time too. All right, guys, so this next one right here is called This Disturbing Footage of Dogman Was Just Caught on Camera, and it's by NVTV, and you know what to do. Put your little pretty paws up on their like button as well as mine. Now, this one says, This creepy video was sent to us here at NVTV of what looks like a massive-sized dogman. This could either be the real thing or simply a staged hoax. Either way, we wanted to show you the scary video that was captured by a mom in the woods with her dog and kids. And you'll hear the mom, like, yelling at the kids and stuff, like, get back here. So, like, it kind of makes you wonder, but let's go ahead and uh, give it a watch. Oh, come on, come on inside! Carly! Now, if you look, yeah, you hear her yelling, like, she sounds really, really scared, actually. But, I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, if you look at this right here, I want to circle it for you. I mean, the the arms are very, very lanky. The, the legs are kind of bent backwards, like the canine type descriptions that are given. I can see pointed ears. Let's see if we can. Sometimes when I drag it up like this, it will go slower. But it's just very hard to see. But let's go oh, ahead and finish it. Come on, come on inside! Carly! Watch. I can see the bent back legs. The arms are so long. But see, the face, it almost looked baboon-like. Or, I don't know, that could be a mask. It could be. It definitely, I don't know, from some angles, it definitely, it definitely looks like somebody could be in a costume. But then, then again, from some of these angles, enough, look at that! It's just from some of these angles, it looks real. Like that, for example. But, I, it's really, really hard to tell. 
Okay, now we're going to see enhanced and stabilized. Oh, come on, come on inside! And then sometimes, come like, on. the hands looks a little fake. That just, I don't know, like, the hands almost. Because it's like, I don't know, guys. And see, from that angle, it kind of looked fake to me. And the hands almost look... But then this hand over here looks pretty real. Guys, I'm going to let you be the judge on that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. This next video is by Kenny, the man himself. Um, over at Star Fox Media, and it's called NADP Presents, which is the North American Dogman Project, the Harley Owens 2024 Tennessee Dogman Encounter. Now, guys, Harley had a very, very horrific encounter. So I want you to go over to Kenny's channel and give him a like, okay? Give this video a like and give my video a like, okay? Put your pretty little paws up there, and let's go ahead and take a listen. Now, uh, December 7th. I had a back trail camera going on my backpack. I learned doing that from uh, Scott Carpenter. He was a Bigfoot researcher, and he came across the dog man here in East Tennessee as well. So I go to these new areas. The first area I went to, then nothing really turned up. I had found a couple of tree structures and other things that the Sasquatch had made, and um, I never really paid attention for looking for a dog man um so i hiked through this first area uh, for about an hour or two i head out of there and it was about four o'clock and i go to the second area and it goes further on up the mountain uh, leads to a waterfall and i go up through the trail there i cross a couple creeks and i pass i get to the split in a trail that goes up the mountain or it goes to the right and it kind of goes back down the mountain. So I decided to go further up the mountain. And as I'm standing there going up the trail, walking and looking, uh, I notice a couple of big twist breaks that the Sasquatch had made in the area. So I documented that. I was videoing and I snapped videos, for, pictures from the video as I was walking up through that area. So as I, as I walk back to the trail from where I seen these twist breaks, uh, I look at my phone, I check the, I check the time, and uh, I had 30% battery at that time. It was 5.33, and I start walking, and as I'm looking at my phone, it said 10% battery, and then it instantly just, just shut off. Yesterday, I had actually forgot to charge my uh, back trail camera, and so I was just strictly using my phone. So I was like, okay, this is great. So I'm standing there and I'm debating on what I want to do next. I was like, well, it's starting to get dusk, so I need to start going back. And a part of me was like, no, just go on up the hill. And I, I just came to the conclusion I needed to go back. It's, it's dusk. It's, start, it's going to get dark soon. So I knew I had a pretty good height back to get back to my truck. So right where I was standing, I turned and I walked maybe five or ten yards and... I heard something behind me, so I turned, and in front of me to my left, which the noise, the noise when I was going down the trail, it was behind me to my right. So I turned instantly right in my tracks, and I'm facing back up towards the trail to see if I can see what it was. And over there to my left, because there's a little drop off that goes down to the creek, and I see it. It's laying there flat. And it. only thing that really stuck out to me right then when I was looking at this thing, I was like, that's, that's, a, that's a big canine. It was had the canine ears and it had the snout and the big, big yellow eyes. And it was instantly after I turned and I seen this thing, it pushes itself up off the ground with its front legs to a bipedal position. And it takes three steps and 
it goes behind this tree and it it leans out and it looks at me. And now as I'm looking at this thing, it's like looking at something that doesn't have a soul. I mean, it there it's just empty. I mean, when I've when I look into a, a Sasquatch's eyes and there's a, there's a soul there. It's like the the dog man. This this thing was something different. It it wanted to kill me. It, it it was just a very evil feeling. So I was standing here and I was looking at this thing. I mean, it was starting to get cold up there on a the mountain. It's probably about thirty degrees. This thing when it was breathing, like this just the the air. You could see the 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 just the haze from it breathing. And it was growling and snarling at me, and I was just like, I'm going to die. Like, my life, it flashed before my eyes. I mean, I I figured I was, I was not coming off this mountain. <clears throat> my phone was dead, and I, I just, I thought I was, I, I was going to die. So I'm sitting here looking at this thing, and it's growling and snarling at me. It looked like something out of a dang gone movie, I, it, his head was, he had a long snout. His nose was like smudged into his, into his top jaw. And the top of his head was flat. And he had big, wide, pointed ears. And the eyes was as yellow as the sun. And this thing was, his hands were, they were human-like, but they were almost like a raccoon's hand. And the claws were just huge. And... The back it had a it almost had like a mane running down the back of its neck, like much like a, what a wolf has, and some of its face looked like a German Shepherd, and then the rest of it just looked wolf like. So as I'm sitting here looking at this thing, it's growling and it's snarling at me, and it, it keeps throwing its 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 arm out like it's trying to grab at me, and I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it, and it's I I just knew I had to run. So as I'm looking at it, and I start to, Run. I'm like, I need to go, I need to go, and this, it just kept, they just kept looking at me, and it, its tail was swaying back and forth, and it, it was kind of like a, a fox's tail, just a big, bushy tail, and it was huge, and I just, I just knew that I was, I was, I, it was going to get me, so I, I start backpedaling, and I'm, Oh, hell no. And as I, I turned and I ran, I, I just ran as fast as I could. I, I veered off the trail some, and I got back on the trail, and I would run some more. I mean, I just, I was trying to avoid this thing getting me. Um, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, this thing, it had it out for me. Um, oh, yes. Harley is safe. He got out of there. The dog man did not get him. Thank God. Yeah. That's a big old hell no to that thing growling and snarling at you, Harley. Like, I mean, we're just glad you're safe, buddy. And thank you for sharing your story. To go see the full video, please go visit Kenny's channel. Give him a like and watch this whole entire video. It's, it's really spooky. <laughs>right here is an encounter sent to me and it was sent to me by someone just called fl so um fl thanks for sending this, this is a, actually a very creepy story it says my dog man or wolf man story and everybody talks about their grammar mistakes i don't care about that heck i can't hardly read them half the time <laughs> i stumble over my words so your grammar is really okay you don't have to worry about that but anyway it says it was 1997. What's what's with all the 90s stuff going on today? I dig it. It was 1997. And Scott, Scott, I can't say that. Scopey, Macedonia. So this is in Macedonia. My parents had rented a room in a monastery called St. Mary in a place called Brodick. Almost every weekend, I, my parents, my sister, my uncle, and my cousins were there. The monastery was from 13, from the 13th century, and it was built on a very big rock, surrounded by thick forest filled with berries. 
There was an outdoor kitchen, two old buildings with four rooms each, and animals, sheep and goats, that were roaming free inside. <laughs> wow, okay, so, wow. So, this is my story with the dog man or the wolf man. Me and my cousin were playing in the very nearby woods, eating berries and running around. I got chills as I'm writing this. I remember ducking behind a bush, hiding from my cousin, hearing him shouting my name when I saw what I can remember a dark grayish knee height leg with a dark black mole on it. Instantly, I got chills. As I pulled my head upwards, I saw what to this day I cannot explain. It was a creature with a head of a lion. Now, we do hear that some of the dog men do have like lion shaped heads, but the color of the skin was dark grayish. It was looking at me, but it was like he was smiling at me. I'm really sorry if this doesn't make sense. Oh, it does. A second later, my cousin jumps in front of me to scare me not knowing about the creature standing right next to us. Then my cousin screams, Lion! And starts running towards the gates of the monastery. I followed, thinking about my cousin screaming lion in total confusion got me laughing. The next thing I remember, the guy that takes care of the monastery called Guru exits on the upstairs balcony and start shouting and whistling. Me and my cousin got in the yard and entered the monastery. While Guru runs towards the forest with a 12-gauge shotgun, still shouting and whistling. Two minutes pass, Guru comes back in the yard and takes a jar with what I can remember some yellow liquid and goes back into the forest. While we were telling the others what we saw, we saw Guru from the balcony Spill the liquid from the jar around the bushes and trees where we stand. He comes back and shouts, The fuck thing is not going to mess with me now. We never left the balcony by ourselves anymore. And the liquid in the jar, my father later told me it was urine from Guru. He said it makes the wolves go away. P.S. I love the channel and thanks. No, thank you for sh uh, for sharing your story. So, this happened in Macedonia, guys. So, um, I'm not too familiar with that area, but that is a very scary experience you had there, FL. Thank you so much for sharing it with us, okay? Um, I really appreciate it. I'm really glad that you and your cousin are safe. Wow. Crazy story. Can you imagine Wolfpack being in a 13th century monastery and then you go out in the woods and see a creature like that? Now that's kind of creepy. I don't know, man. That's that's a great story. Well, everyone, what did you think of those five scary stories and sightings of Dogman? Let me know in the comments below. Also, have you seen a Dogman? Let us know in the comments or you can email me. I'm going to throw my email up there. You can uh, write your story to me. You can send me a recording of your voice. You can send me a video link. Uh, to your YouTube, whatever you want to do. I will share it if you want me to. And thank you for all of your likes and subscribes. You guys make my day. Hashtag Wolfpack. Paul's up. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.